everyone. Welcome to today's free webinar webcast series. Uh, my name is Pat Smith. I'm here with Foundation Software. Uh, we've got Jim Welsh on the line as well. Uh, Jim is with Payroll for Construction. And today's webinar, we are going to cover the, uh, the one-stop shop uh, back office to payroll service. I'll give you folks a little overview on Foundation Software, uh, the, the accounting program, and then Jim's going to go through some of the, the payroll service side of things for payroll for construction. So that's me on the left. Uh, that's Jim on the right. Uh, for the first half, um, you're going to be hearing from me. We're going to go over some of the, uh, the foundation kind of high-level functionality. And, and then Jim's going to take over for the second half to, uh, to cover the payroll service. So figure about 15, 20 minutes of each. And there's a little chat section, a little question section over in your uh, GoToWebinar panel. Uh, so if anybody has questions as we're going throughout the presentation, feel free to just jot those down and uh, we can address them toward the tail end. Um, so just to give you all an idea of you know, sort of who we are and what we do for anybody that's not entirely familiar. Um, so we've got Foundation Software. That is a job cost construction accounting system that is specific to construction. And, and then we've got Payroll for Construction, which is a construction specific payroll service. And we work uh, together, fully integrated between these two programs. Um, so again, today you're gonna get a feel for what foundation can do um, and then uh, what the payroll service can offer in the way of processing payroll and taking care of taxes and quarterlies and so on. So that'll be more Jim's world that he'll get into here in a little bit. Um, so with that in mind, it uh, looks like we've got a pretty good audience here. We're gonna go ahead and jump into things here. So give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and switch screens over. And then I'm going to show you foundation. So hang on one second. All right. You all should see the, the main menu of foundation software. And if anybody does have issues with vi video or audio, uh, again, just go ahead and throw that into the little question section and uh, we'll address that if there are any kind of Technical difficulties. Um, otherwise, we'll go ahead and, uh, and get going here. So, uh, so Foundation Software, like I'd mentioned, it, it's a construction-specific accounting program uh, with job costing uh, really as as the backbone. So the the system itself, user-friendly, pretty evident here. You'll see there's, uh, there's a lot of depth within our program, but uh, pretty easy to use at the same time. So I'm going to just kind of fly through an overview of the menu just to, uh, to get everybody an idea of some of the functionality, some of the modules we have to offer, and then we'll go through some high points here, um, again, just to give you all a feel for what we do. So toward the top here, you see we've got these base modules. That, that's the core accounting system. That's really what our program is designed around. Um, full accounting suite here. So we've got the, the payables and receivables. Um, AIA billing for any schedule of value billing that you folks need uh, would be built directly into the, the accounts receivable module. Um, ledger, of course, for financials and job costing, again, really is the backbone that everything's feeding into. Um, now, who uses our software? I guess I'll, I'll throw some, some info at you that way. So, you know, we've got small to mid-range, um, large construction companies as well. Really anybody that's looking for help with job costing. Yeah, a lot of our clients are coming off of QuickBooks. They're stuck in that generic, uh, you know, sort of generic accounting, basic accounting world, needing a little bit more functionality particularly on job costing. So, uh, so that's one of the, uh, the focuses that we'll dig into today. Um, you know, of course, payroll, which Jim's going to get into, uh, the peer purchase order subcontract management, a very CPA friendly, um, strong audit, strong review process. Um, a lot of CPAs cater to our system uh, for the, the ease of use, the ease of finding data, the ease of the audits and, and the reviews, fully date sensitive. Um, so, uh, so very friendly to the CPA. Um, now, these additional modules, these, you could say they're somewhat trade-specific, uh, civil contractors, heavy construction, we'll use equipment, for example. Um, your mechanicals, electricals, plumbers, we'll use inventory. Um, those that have a service division uh, would be would uh, typically use the service dispatch module for work order management. I've got a couple specialty billing modules over here as well, time and material and, and unit price billing. Um, and then toward the bottom here, on the operation side of things, project management, scheduling, document imaging, electronic filing cabinet, um, and then we've got what we call the executive dashboard, um, which is what I'm going to jump into. We're going to start with the dashboard. We'll go right into the output here uh, so you all can see some of the job cost capabilities. So 
really think of this as a bucket that's gathering data. The, the beauty of our accounting system, all of these transactions are feeding into the respective reports in real time. Payroll, those time cards feed into the, the job reporting, your payables, your receivables. It's all integrated, it's all automated. So the, the gist behind it is on the left side here, you've got totals. So I'm in this example, you can see I'm running about 9 million in active jobs or contracts. And I've estimated budgeted about 7.5 from a cost standpoint. By way of those numbers, here's my estimated gross profit. Then you can see real world. What have we built against these jobs? What have they truly cost us? What's our actual gross profit? So totals on the left, each job over here on the right. Now you may want to see these jobs laid out in a report format. We click this button that says view report, drills down into your WIP schedule. So the WIP, the bonding reports, the over under billing, percent complete, uh, very much automated here. You run the reports when you, whenever you need to run them. Ideally, you're eliminating spreadsheets, taking the manual reporting out of the equation here, let the system do the work for you. Now within the dashboard here, these individual jobs, if I wanna dig further, I click the respective job, and that drills down into a summary of that specific job. Contract amount, what you've billed against it, estimated cost, actual cost, gross margin, change orders we manage as well. So you've got that original contract value, you've got the change orders entered against it. Shows that percent complete. Are you overbilled, are you underbilled? You get the idea. These are numbers for that job that we clicked into. Now anything that's blue, that means the user can continue to drill down. So this example, I've got an estimated cost 449, I've got an actual cost 197, click the link that says job cost detail, and now that 449 and that 197 are broken down into different cost codes. Now for those that need coding, a lot of the GCs out there use the standard CSI divisions. Specialties, especially trade contractors, typically have a little bit more unique uh, cost code structures. So these are just my examples. Now, depending on the type of work that you do, um, anybody that uh, that was to come our way, uh, we'd help you build these codes just uh, just based on your your particular activity. Now, within the code, you break it down further. If I click this 2010 code, for example, here's my labor for that code: material cost, subcontract, equipment, burden. So multi-level costing here. You've got the code, and then you've got what we call the cost class within that code. Some codes may have multiple classes. Other codes may have one class, two classes. Uh, again, just depends on the nature of that particular cost code or task. Now, from a data access standpoint, users would have the ability to drill into transaction details. So this 4200 in labor as an example. If I click into it, that shows every transaction that fed in from payroll that accounts for labor within that code, within that job. So you can get down to this granular transaction detail, whether it's labor, or if I go to material as another example, you can see in this case, I've got a couple payables that account for that material cost. If I click either transaction number, here's the detail of that respective AP invoice. And then with our document imaging in mind, I mentioned earlier, scanning, dragging and dropping, users would have the ability to click on the little paperclip icon. That would then drill down into a scanned copy of that material invoice, that subcontract invoice, whatever type of transaction it happens to be. Um, so this is internal image storage that's, uh, that's indexed behind the scenes within the database itself, not just a, a file attachment that's stored externally. So this is really the, the guts of our program is the ability to automate job costing, the ability to pull these live reports by way of the, the accounting entry, again, without having to re-enter the data, transpose the data, double enter the data into spreadsheets. Um, this just live reports, you, you run them whenever you need to run them. So that'll give you all a pretty good idea of the, the reporting capabilities. Um, now again, considering we're, we're kind of flying through this thing, I'm gonna take you through a few other items, you know, some of the more attractive parts of our program, one of which is the schedule of value billing, the AIA, built right into accounts receivable. So I can come into standard AR module and show you one here. So everything on this general tab, all this data goes to the front page to the G702. 
And then on the billing tab, that's where you can see that schedule of value breakdown. Now notice we're on application one, so we haven't billed for this job yet. Users can bill by the dollar value, it'll calculate the percentage, or bill by the percentage, let it calculate the dollars. Either way is fine. Retainage, another attractive part of our program in the way of automating the retainage. So in a nutshell, when the job is created, a user can tag that percentage to the job, and then it can be defaulted into the billing without having to calculate that retainage manually, automated process here. Now, before I show you the AIA, if I were to run an aging report, and this is really for the QuickBooks users of the world as an FYI here, true reten retention, meaning 30, 60, 90, and then retainage in its own column, doesn't show as a current due, doesn't goof up the aging, true retainage process here without any kind of double entry or, uh, or any kind of workarounds. Now going back to the schedule of value here, if I save, let's say we're gonna build this 101,000, we go ahead and save it, and then we can print it, and this can be generated onto a blank piece of paper or could be submitted electronically as well. So you see here we've got the front page, we've got the, the continuation as well, and the other neat thing worth pointing out is the, the transaction be, can be posted from here, meaning if I wanna go ahead and post this billing, it's gonna automatically kick an invoice over to the aging, it's gonna update the ledger, it's gonna update the job revenue. So, uh, so again, this is all integrated, all these numbers are feeding across the board real time. Okay, so we've gone through some, some of the reporting, some of the job costing, the AIA, Again, very attractive part of our program in the way that it, it's built into the system. Now, before I hand things over to Jim, I'm gonna show you folks just a little peek at what we have going on the project management side. So historically, we've been accounting, accounting, accounting. That, that's really our, our bread and butter. Um, but over the past few years, we've really gotten heavy into project management. You know, there's just a huge demand for it, and, uh, and everybody's wanting the project management and the accounting and the payroll to all talk to each other. Now, we've, we've had this project management module that we've used over the past X amount of years. It's done us very well. Um, it, it's a basic module. There's no tablet access. There's no you know, real field access from these job sites without having to log into the actual accounting program. So we created a project management system that we call Project HQ. Now, this is going to be a complete crash course here. I'm going to zip through this in about three, four minutes. Um, but really, this is to, to give you folks an idea of what this thing can do. Uh, and really, anybody that's wanting to dig further here, you just let us know. You know then we hop online. We go through a little bit more of a one-on-one -on -one type thing, you know, a little bit uh, more time to work with. But really, in a nutshell here, this is designed for a project manager to log in um, on a, a, a tablet or a laptop. You know, phones, you could. Um, not as much real estate on the screen. Uh, it's doable, but usually it's a tablet or a laptop. So I'm a PM, I log in, I'm managing five jobs. I've got seven documents that are overdue, requests for change orders and RFIs and actual change orders. Now, if I tap or click into one of my jobs here, then it drills down into a dashboard of that specific job. So it would show any type of, of daily log entries, labor logs, photo logs, weather capture, um, so project managers have the ability, for example, to upload a photo. They can throw some notes on that, that photo as well. Um, so this, just like the payroll for construction, this is fully integrated with foundation as well. Um, so if a job is set up in foundation, for example, it'll show up here or vice versa. Um, now back to my job dashboard, if I tap into any of these tabs on the left here, if I go to documents, for example, this would allow the user to enter RFIs, you know, create the RFIs, print it, email it. Um, same thing with submittals. Uh, we also offer user-defined documents, so anything that's you know, maybe not a standard document that a user wants to track, um, these are unlimited. You can just, these are just my examples here. You can see um, really any type of document that you want to track that's you know, more than just your standard RFI submittal. Now, change management, that can be run through here as well. Users can, enter change order requests, so RFC, request for change, which can then be com converted to a formal change order, or pop right in, enter that change order right out of the gate without going through that request process. Either way, 
getting to the same results in the end, those numbers feeding into foundation, updating the WIP schedules, um, updating all those respective job reports. Um, so this, we, we've got some, some pretty good plans, you know, in terms of development and, you know, really continuing with, uh, with the process here to develop and add more features. So, you know, strong product as is, um, but, uh, but yeah, all, always things to add, just like on the accounting side of things. Um, but really this is the sort of the path that we're going, um, you know, the accounting, it's strong. There's always things to add to it, like I mentioned, but you know, no overhaul needed. It is where it needs to be. Um, project management, you know, that really just kind of you know, frees up a lot of time for us to focus on the PM side of things. And I put a lot of development, a lot of resources into in this particular product. And, uh, and again, considering the demand out there, yeah, this will this will start to take off for us. And in, in addition to the Project HQ for document control, we do have what we call executive reporting, very similar to the dashboard that we just looked at within the accounting system. You know, looking at the same numbers here, just a different way to see those numbers, you know, via the tablet from the job site, again, without having to log directly into the accounting program to, to get these numbers. Okay, so with that in mind, um, like I said, questions, just fire them into that little question section here and, and we'll address those toward the end. Um, but that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and kick things over to Jim. Jim's gonna pick things up on the payroll side of things. He'll give you a little bit more info, a little bit more detail on um, on the payroll service and what that entails and, and really some of the, the benefits and, and things that we can provide. So Jim, I'm gonna go ahead and make you the presenter. If you wanna go ahead and share your screen and then okay, you great. should have audio, we should be good to go here. Yep. Uh, thank you, Pat. Appreciate that. Uh, they can, you can see my screen now, Pat, correct? Yeah, we're good to go. Yep. Cool. Okay. So uh, I want to thank everybody for attending today. As Pat kind of mentioned, uh, you know, he covered the full foundation software and its features. What I focus in on is payroll for construction. And, you know, there's a little bit of crossover here. So what we like to do is, you know, we have a wide array of people that sit in on these webinars. You know, some are current foundation clients, some are current payroll clients, some are not a client of either of our products. So I kind of have to cast a broad net here in regards to just, you know, making sure I kind of explain this accordingly for everybody. So starting at the top, payroll for construction is a payroll service provider, you know, ADP paychecks, you know, paying employees by, you know, uh, uh, by check or direct deposit, uh, city, state, federal taxes, quarterlies, wage garnishments, W-2s, things like that. Um, you know, that's what we do here at Payroll for Construction. So um, where we become unique and why we call ourselves Payroll for Construction is, of course, we only do this for contractors. So some of the messiest, most complex payroll, um, you know, uh, is what we handle. And where there is that crossover, which you'll see here in a second when I pull up the Payroll for Construction screen is, as Pat was saying, the accounting is a very powerful platform. The payroll inside a foundation is probably one of the best out there, if not the best, because that's what we focus in on is complex, multi-state, job cost, union, government, prevailing wage payroll. So it only made sense for us to say, we didn't really need to reinvent the wheel. We just basically took payroll or foundations, general ledger, job costing and payroll modules out and posted it online. So rather than logging in and seeing one of the traditional provider names or even payroll for construction, you'll see here in a second, it is still parts of foundation. So we do process payroll in all 50 states. You know, again, kind of like I mentioned, you know, if you're not government or union or prevailing wage, it's not that we don't process your payroll well. It's again, though, you know, we're hoping you at least need job costing because those are the things that make us different than our competitors out there. So, you know, with construction payroll, you all know that, yeah, once the employees and taxes are paid, that's only, you know, half the battle, if that. You know, there's all this compliance reporting, like those union or certified or EEO minority compliance, workers' comp reports, certified payroll, of course. So those are things we pride ourselves on in regards to saying, hey, not only do we handle the traditional payroll service items, but we also handle the other reporting items that are very time consuming on the back end. So we'll come back here in a second and kind of recap everything. So as you can see here, Again, a familiar face in regards to what Pat showed, you just kind of minus the other modules. So if you're a foundation client of ours, technically payroll for construction is already there. It's built in. You just aren't submitting payroll. You're posting the payroll and doing those things yourself. 
So if you're already a foundation client, don't overthink this. Meaning, hey, if you ever wanted to have a conversation and get costing in regards to how much it would cost for us to pay employees and taxes and quarterlies and W-2s, the nice thing is the transition is very easy because it's technically already there. Now, if you're not a foundation client, you know, it would be one of those things where you don't have to purchase the full accounting system. So when I recap here, I'll make it very clear in regards to, hey, you can purchase our full accounting system, you could purchase just our payroll service, or you could purchase both there. Um, so, you know, this is where I try to make the distinction of, hey, you could be using technically a QuickBooks or another accounting system and just not be ready for a full on accounting project management change. But maybe you're looking to lessen the burden of payroll and the time pay payroll takes. And that's where this can work for you really well uh, also. So what our clients do with that highest level is, you know, they're putting in jobs so that they can enter time or we do have a mobile app just like Foundation does. Uh, Pat kind of covered the project management application, but there is also just a basic time card application where you can capture their location, capture the job they were on, what they were doing on the job, and then that can push to the system. Or if you already are using a mobile application, as long as it has the ability to export the time out, uh, we can upload that in. So some clients are entering this. Uh, their field staff is just not ready for a mobile application. Others are inquiring about our application or using one. So many different ways the time can be reported to us. Uh, and then being able to edit or check said time before you submit it off. So this is construction, whether you're hand keying this in or it's coming from some mobile device. The reality is before you want a payroll service touching this and actually paying employees and taxes, you still inside of the office have to be that kind of final uh, approver in regards to being able to view by employee days and jobs and cost codes and regular versus overtime hours and what city or state they worked in. So you do have the ability to make edits to that stuff. The nice thing with us is as you look at these items or these rates, I should say, in our system, each employee's payroll file can have their, let's call it private rate of pay or their standard union rate of pay. But as they bounce from prevailing wage job one to two to three, you can assign rates to jobs and fringes to jobs. And then also, you can also assign different states or cities to jobs so that as that time's entered or as it comes over from an app, nobody on your end has to adjust what Craig's rate of pay should be or what city or state needs paid. Those things happen automatically because in construction, you know, the job is really what kind of rule or, or controls a lot of the rules. So what makes us unique both from a foundation standpoint and a payroll service standpoint is that ability to set the rules within the job record as opposed to trying to tie them to the employee record because employees will come, employees will go. They are going to move from jobs one to two to three to four. And if everything resides here, that's just a lot of manual manipulation and work needing to be done once that payroll is input through the office or you know, edited by the office, whereas our system will automate those things. Then also having the ability, again, job, 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 to be able to run things by job. So oftentimes you're going to find yourself maybe not caring so much about total hours by employee, but total hours or dollars per project. So foundation and payroll for construction have a lot of flexibility when it comes to the reporting. These reports can be ran for a week, a month, a year, or back to the inception of the job or the employee start date. They can be printed, PDF, Word, Excel, or CSV. And then as each individual user starts figuring out the way they like to see said report, there's the nice thing is, is you don't have to fight each other. There can be multiple users in here at a time. And then there are ways to just save defaults per user so that my flow chart over here could be completely different from Susan's or Bob's that are interacting with the system. And again, that goes for both whether you're a full foundation user or a payroll for construction only user or a combination of the two. So it's getting payroll in, checking it, submitting it, allowing us to process and pay employees and taxes. And then again, that other half of the battle when it comes to payroll are all these compliance reports. So I'm not gonna click on every report. The main ones I like to highlight are workers' compensation. You know, in construction, that is a large part of your cost when it comes to job costing. And also, you know, again, people do different things and there could be different you know, rates for your workers' comp based on what they're doing. So being able to allow an employee to classify what type of work they did 
can also help save you money in workers' compensation. Being able to put caps per class or per employee or, you know, more commonly per earning type to break those things out. So when, whether it's time to make a payment or an audit comes, having that information at your fingertips and not spending days upon weeks to gather it can save a ton of time with the payroll. EEO minority compliance reports, we really hang our hat on this stuff. I mean, you work across the United States or as even if you work in one state, what you find is when it comes to certified in these reports, a lot of states and even cities for that matter have different agency formats. So, you know, uh, when you used to be able to use just one WH-347 or federal form, now what we're seeing is the industry is, you know, even though it's the same data, there are just different agency forms and things like that. So with us only focusing on contractors, you know, as Pat kind of mentioned, hey, we're putting a lot of time and resources into developing more of the mobile where you can work on the go and project management. Same with payroll. I mean, this is all we do is construction payroll. So we don't have to carve out time or, or, or worry about, you know, servicing the other industries and trying to divide a little bit of time to the construction industry for a handful of our clients. That is our only client base. So being able to run this stuff here, you know, once payroll's done, without having to manually fill things in. It's just a part of what we do here. Um, and same with certified payroll, you know, some states still want you to print. Again, not gonna click on every agency format, but just kind of scroll through here to really hammer home that, hey, no matter where you're at in the United States, we do this for all 50 states. We have clients in every one of them. So keeping up with changing when they make changes or adding new agency formats as they come up, these are things we just do at no cost to our clients. So whether you need a state format or a city format or federal format, they'll all be in here. And the ability to just run these, print, sign, and send is right there at your fingertips. Now, when you get into California's and some other parts of the United States, a lot of these places now want you to go to websites such as LCP Tracker or, you know, school authorities. So, you know, with us, rather than take that nice printed format here and go in there and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to print that, go to said website, and type that information in. You'll be able to come into our system and hit close and create file now, yes. And then basically, when you go to their website, you'd just be able to hit an upload function to upload that information directly to them. Lastly here, you know, job costing pack covered pretty well. I like to just show this report because it's one of those things where I can come in and say, not only are we costing per project, and you can get this by cost code as well, but you know, not just the hours times Rick's rate of 15, but adding in all those other burden items to get to your true job costing numbers and your true to the penny cost per employee. And then also, um, I can come down here and run a union report here. And then I can say, give me my union, you know, my company, date range union, the employees, the hours with totals, the gross with totals, the total each employee put into each and benefit, or you did on their behalf as a fringe, and then a nice summary report of what you owe for said union. So um, those are the key things with construction. Again, as you ask people, uh, most of the time spent is on a lot of this compliance reporting. So, you know, in recapping this, you know, <clears throat> it's powered by foundation. So foundation is the full accounting system where you have the ability to do payroll in-house or you can still outsource payroll to us or another vendor if you have another vendor that you work with that you're happy with, uh, where you can do job costs, billing, project management, uh, all accounting functionality. Whereas payroll for construction, again, can be you know kind of teamed together with foundation or it can stand alone on its own where you can use a QuickBooks or other accounting system and still have us pay the employees and taxes and get the compliance reports. Um, and then both of these are accessible online Supported by us, well, that's key because you know as well as I do, in construction, no matter how well you know the software, things are going to change. There's going to be mistakes made. So it's not if you ever have a mistake with payroll or invoicing. It's when you have it because in the office, kind of that flow of information from field or the contractors or the project managers, it just doesn't always get to you in a timely or accurate fashion. So we're here 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday Eastern which is five to five on the West Coast. So again, servicing the entire country, being able to call us directly, work with us directly to set this up and then ongoing support you. 
We are here to do that with you. Um, so this is nothing that, again, as Pat said, you'll just purchase and have to figure out on your own. We do a lot of hand-holding, guiding, and supporting you the entire time you're a client of ours. So with that being said, this is the point in time where you know people might have typed in some questions. Pat has those. He'll fire those off, and we'll get those answered. Uh, and then if anybody wants to see a, you know, a live demo that's more tailored to you, feel free to email myself or Patrick. We can get you pricing, do a demo, anything that you need uh, to help see if this fits uh, your business needs. So, Pat, you want to go ahead and take over? I sure will. Thank you, Jim. Very nice stuff. And, uh, and yeah, like Jim mentioned, um, we'll, uh, we'll go through a, a couple of these questions. And um, you know, these, there, there are some detailed questions in here. For those that have super detailed questions, you can see our contact info up on the screen here. You know, give us a call. We'll work with you more one-on-one -on -one to get into the really the nuts and bolts of it. Uh, but just to pick off a couple that are a little bit more high level. Um, so the one question, and Jim, you sort of addressed this, is how can I access the program? Is it accessible remotely? Wh which it is. So this is all cloud-based, cloud-driven, really no hardware needed on uh, w within your office, no servers. Um, you know, we host everything. This is all direct through us as well. So Jim had mentioned we're a direct provider. Everything is in-house. Same thing with our, our hosting. We don't contract out to uh, like an Amazon or a third party. We maintain our own data centers and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, that is, uh, that's one that, that we get hit up on a lot within these webinars. Are you a cloud system? The answer is yes. Um, the other question, um, we'll, we'll address this one. And then again, the rest of these are, are pretty specific. So you know, we'll, uh, we can reach out to you folks and, and you can reach out to us. Um, so the, the question is kind of a broad question is what type of company is meaning what size of companies we work with. So you could consider us a mid range. Um, so lo low to mid range. So figure anybody that's three, four, five million working on QuickBooks, kind of pushing it to its limits. A lot of our clients will come our way uh, by way of, of QuickBooks, um, just, you know, when they're outgrowing it. Um, now the, 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 I guess other end of that would be, you know, maybe that 50, 60, 70 million range. So figure five to 70 million, sort of our bread and butter. And um, with that in mind, I mean, we can support, you know, 100 million plus, it's not an issue. Um, and on Jim's side of things, that's pretty much across the board. So for payroll for construction, really doesn't cater to any specific size of company. That's for anybody that needs help with construction payroll, whether it's two employees or 2,000 employees, um, really doesn't, doesn't matter on his end of things. Um, so, so yeah, that's, you could say that's about where we're at in the market. Uh, but again, if you're doing construction, if you need help with job costing, with your schedule of value billings, you know, with the payroll complexities like Jim had mentioned, then sure, then, then we consider ourselves a fit. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and leave it at that. Um, so everybody's gonna get a recording of this. Um, that you'll, you'll see come over probably the next day or two. And, uh, and then everybody that, uh, that's got their screen up, um, that's looking at our contact info, feel free to do a little screenshot, take a picture, uh, save our contact information. Um, you can call us if you have any questions. And then for anybody that does want to take a closer look on either foundation or payroll for construction or both, just let us know. We'll get you on the calendar, set an hour aside, you know, really dig into this thing to, uh, to give you some of the depth and, and make sure it'd be a fit for your company. Uh, so with that in mind, we really appreciate everybody's time today. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and let you get back to your work day. And uh, everybody, have a great day. Have a great week. And thanks again for attending. Take care. Thanks, everyone.